What's up, everybody? Sparewood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal Space Program. And I dare say I might have outdone myself. Or, well, I might have outdone myself if this freaking thing works, which is still largely up in the air. What you are looking at is the USS Pyramid Plus Mark One, right? So it's kind of a plus sign, but it's kind of pyramid-ish. I don't know. So, in the last episode, we figured out how to get science, and we researched a few things. So, I ended up building a more complex ship. So, what I did was I added... We got these new fuel tanks, which hold more fuel. Um, these were 90 fuel and 110 oxidizer. This is 220 oxidizer, 180 liquid fuel. So, we're doing good on fuel. Um... And we also got, this is a big thing, the stack decoupler, which is something that basically is supposed to jettison these parts, right? So one of the things that has me concerned about this is if you read here, it says, painted on its side are handy arrows indicating which side will detach. Now, the confusing part is this. If you zoom in on this, when you grab this guy, you can see the arrows pointing up. So I hope that doesn't mean what I think it means, that this is all going to detach in the incorrect order. But the problem I see is that when you have this flipped where the arrow's pointing down, it wouldn't let me attach anything to the bottom, so I think this is correct? But I have no idea. So there's that. We have new fuel. We have decouplers now that we can detach. Um, and then we also got these, which are under science, and they're mis Mystery Goo Containment Unit. Uh, we read about them, I think, in the last episode. Um, but one of the things that it says is watching how the goo behaves subject to different situations could be educational, so I'm assuming you can get more science out of it, right? Um, now I've set this up to where the boosters go. Where are these? Oh, we need to move these. Okay, move these down move these down. So all of these bottom thrusters and boosters, these are also the um, propulsion. These guys, the fuel booster. They only have, they have like 250 thrusts, but they're like, once you start them, they can't stop type of thing. Oh yeah, these are the trash can full of boom. Trash bin full of boom. Um, whenever the need to save cash is greater than the need to keep astronauts alive. That's us. Use with caution, though. Once lit, solid fuel motors cannot be unlit. So actually, let's see if we can move these down below the normal boosters. Can we not do that? Okay. Okay, move them down. Can I move these up? Maybe. Would that work? Yes, that works. Okay. So I'm going to put these down first. Um, why is this having such a hard time? Whatever. Get up there. Um, I'm going to put these down first. So basically, these will all fire. Then we'll use the thrusters. Then when we're done with that, you jettison that coupling. Then these... Th uh, there's four here, and then one in the center stack. And then when that's done, you jettison that. And then when that's done... Okay... I might have forgotten to do that. Hold on. Let's let's do that before we do anything. Uh, let's put a... Structure? Let's put a decoupler here. Now grab this put it there. Yeah, that way we can, um, let's make this its own. I don't know if those have to be their own stages, but sometimes I want them to be, um, so that we don't have to necessarily jettison the engine before we want to. So the only other thing I did was I put the goo and some antennas on here for transmitting and getting science and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how this works. First of all, I don't know if this will launch or not because of the structural situation, the way it's set up. I might need, I don't know, something to hold it in place before it launches or something. I think those are in the here. I think I saw that in one of Zisto's videos that I watched, was that there's a 
thing you can get. Oh gosh. Yeah. About that. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Um. Hmm. 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 Wait a minute. Where's my ship? Oh, he's way up here. Okay. So. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Here's what we'll do. You know what? I have a better idea. <laughs> let's just... In the interest of, of entertainment, let's see if I can just launch this thing really quick. I'm holding shift right now. Come on. Go, 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 go. That's not good. How did that happen? Um, I'm more than a little confused by that. Because it still shows I've got all these engines and this one didn't... Oh, no, there it goes. Hmm. And why can't I get this thing to pick up its its nose is like I can't get it past that angle right there. Hmm. Alright. Well that's very interesting. How about we go this way? Maybe we can reach land. <laughs> Jedediah. Jebediah. My bad. I mispronounced your name. Sorry. Seriously though, how hilarious would it be if we could actually get over here to land? And get some science so that this wasn't a complete disaster? Oh no! Oh wow, this is actually really easy to maneuver. Well that's cool. Um, except that we're rapidly descending into the water. <laughs> Oh, don't turn that off. Seriously, though, this is, like, a pretty awesome little ship. You can just, like, whoop, whoop. I'm thinking that'll probably be my next, um, thing. Is to just do a single straight rocket. Why does that thing never deploy right? There we go. Now I can turn that off, probably. What was that? What was that? Okay, then. So there is one other thing that I do want to check. Uh, let's do... I want to see... Will this float in the water? It's kind of something I wanted to see. Come on, we're only 150 meters. Let's go. I wonder what happens if I jettison this thing. The parachute. Observe mystery goo. Ooh, I see. Oh, it does float. Awesome. Keep the data. Oh, that's cool. I see. Okay. Is there a mystery goo? Keep all that data. Okay. Um. Whoop. Don't die. Don't die, Jebediah. Okay. Eve, Eve report. Take some samples. Swim. Oh, you can swim. That is so cool. I love this game. <laughs> Grab onto the ship. Board the ship. Do a crew report. Your cruise assessment situation. Alright. And recover. So it wasn't a failure. It was not a failure.
it crashed. Sort of. But it was not technically a failure. Because we got 48 science off of that. What's up? Those goo things. I'm telling you, man. So let's do some research before we get into any more than that. Survivability. What is this? Liquid fuel engine. Some skepticism by spacecraft engine is as it defied the long-standing convention that more power is always better. Despite this, the 909 series found uh, its place in the spacecraft construction world being particularly useful in its final stage in landing. Hmm. Landing struts. It may have originally been designed as a heavy-duty metal detector, but this landing leg certainly emphasizes an important fact in surface landing. You don't need to put a crater in the ground to stop yourself. Okay. A parachute comparable to the M6, MK16, but which is placed radial instead of attached on the top of something. Oh, so that could be useful. That's only 50. Oh, structural. New equipment to help out. Ah, that's what I was seeing. The structure stability enhancer. I think. Stru okay, so we want... Ooh, that's a full 45, though. What does this do? Liquid engine. A huge fuel tank. Alright, so let's do this one. Because this will give us some helpful parts. We only have three left. Fueling system. Advanced construction. Ooh, there's another brand adapter. What does this do? Aerodynamics. Control surfaces. Jet fuel air intake. So is that... I guess that's more for jets, I'm thinking. And this one is more aerodynamic nose, wingtip, radial decoupler. Okay. So let's go back to build. Actually, how do I use these guys? Okay, so I'm going to do some reconstruction, and I'll be back in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to the USS Prism Mark II. <laughs> so, basically, I kind of forgot about these guys. These are the stack tricoupler, which basically lets things fan out. And because it kind of looked pyramidish, I thought it would be cool to name it Prism. That would be kind of cool. Um, so, I'm playing around with a few elements here. I've got the couplers that detach in all the stages, yada yada yada. Um, I put some radial ones on the first stage here, and they have the rocket boosters. So basically, and I put these here to hold the ship in place, although I think this top stack's going to be a problem because it's going to run into these. But we'll try it. Um, if it does, then, you know, we'll just take them off later. Um, so the idea here is these hold it in place so that it doesn't wobble. And then they'll detach, the rocket boosters will fire, the radial couplers will detach those, then this stack, which is, uh, how many is in here? Three and three, so six, um, are in there, and then those will detach at that point. They have four fuel tanks, so those are your main boosters type thing. Um, and those will basically be the, the first along with the rocket boosters to get us up and through the atmosphere. Is the idea, I hope. We'll see. Then you move to... Uh, what is this one? Yeah, so this decouples here, and then you've got three here with three fuel tanks, then that jettisons, and then you've got one with two, and then you've got the command pod with the goo and the antennas and the parachute. So yeah, let's light this candle and see how this works. I do like the construction beams to like hold it in place. I think that's kind of cool, but I do think this original design here, that top one, I think is going to be a problem uh, because I think the rocket boosters are going to hit it. Um, oh gosh. This isn't looking too stable here. Alright, so... Uh, YOLO! Uh, okay! <laughs> Are you seeing this? Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh! Alright, can we revert that? No, we 
can't. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so that only ended in horribly fiery death. So, let's make some modifications. Now, I did have um, the Mark I, which I never launched. I never tried to launch this one. Um, I think it was all of that minus the rocket boosters. Yeah, it was pretty much everything like that. It just didn't have the rocket boosters on it. Um, before we do that, though, I want to play around with the two a second here, because there was also another structural thing that I wanted to try. Uh, there's these. They're struts, is what they're called, I guess. And so you saw how they wobbled around. I want to see if I can basically fix that. So I guess they're kind of a point-to-point. -point, oops. Type thing. Uh, crap. Crap. How do I undo that? Undo. Stop it. How, how do I do that? There we go. I think that worked. Okay. So I'm going to go through and attach cross beams to all these and see if that helps, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so here is the Prism Mark III, and it's got these little strut connectors all across it. I hope that helps. It probably won't, given my pedigree for successful launches, but we'll see. I mean, something's got to work at some point. <laughs> uh, it's probably just uh, to... Come on, don't fall over, don't fall over! Oh, it's still so unstable. Alright, so we've got... That's not too bad. Hey, look at that. It's actually doing pretty good. Who'd have thunk it? Now, I don't like this overheating thing, but I don't really know what to do about it. Um, why can't... Why is it veering? And why can't I get it on course? That's kind of annoying. I can't... Get it to get on course. Alright, so. No! Why did it do that? Alright, well, we just lost our whole back half of whatever. That's interesting. Why can I not get it to, to pick its nose up, though? That's what I can't figure out. Like, its nose is determined to not. It keeps, like, going down. It won't pick its nose up. What is the problem here? Okay, well, that's not good. Come on, climb. I don't understand that. Like, it's just completely determined to go forward and pitch down. And I can't get it to detach. Well, this is gonna suck. Alright, no, we need to see where that's going. So I can't figure that part out. I don't know why it's determined to do a nosedive. That doesn't make any sense to me because... For all intents and purposes, it really shouldn't. Let's check... Center of thrust. Okay, so that's there. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. Center of lift. Is it the bottom? I don't know if that's good or not. Wait, shouldn't... Shouldn't those be lined up? Like, straight? Why is it off? See, it's that kind of stuff that I don't get. Why is the center of lift all over there? All of the thrusters are, like, proportioned equally, so I don't get why that's that way. And the center of mass is right in the bottom. So, why... why is the center of lift? The lift is the one that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why is that off? It should be dead center, because I've proportioned all of the thrusters, or so I thought. Hmm. 
let's see if we can just remove these. Maybe. No. What did it do that for? I didn't want to break the engines. Now, where are you? So it's still off. See, that I don't get. I don't understand that. What would happen if we were to do something like this? I wonder if the weight on the capsule is too odd. Oops, that's not a good place for that. Here's an idea that I hadn't really thought about. Is... What happens... If you were to... Rotate these this way. Come on. Really, it's the struts that are in the way? <laughs> I hate that. It's like, just let me attach these where I want them. You see it flicker green and then it like goes to red? I hate that. Let, let me put them down. Why are you being... Why are you being this way? See, I don't get that. Why can't I put that there? Ugh! This is so frustrating. They're supposed to be in their own stage. Why are they... Oh, this is annoying. Oh! It did it for a second. What the heck, man? Why is it... There, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> that's frustrating, it's right there. It just won't let me- oh! Ha! I'm smarter than you, game. Not really. Okay, so you could do that. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's, for now, let's load up the Mark 1. Okay. That's weird. Because I have an idea about this. Um, okay, I guess I don't want to do that. I think I had it set to that mode. I get why it's doing that. Like, what is with this blinking green and then going red thing? That's kind of annoying. Do what I want you to do. <sighs> Seriously, why is this being so frustrating? Oh, now it's now it's not even doing it. Come on, seriously? Oh, whatever. Just go away. Okay, new plan. Really? You're re you're really gonna do this to me now too? Okay, so what would what the heck is that? Seriously. Come on. Stop being stupid and attached to the dumb thing. It's right in front of your face. Like, sir, I don't understand why this is having such a problem when I just did it like a minute ago. Oh, you know what? Whatever. Just go away. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got those there. See, why well, want to do it now? What the heck? That is so annoying. Alright, you know what? Let's get rid of this, and we'll just do it manually. So what I want it to do... is not that. What? Okay, space engineers, what is going on? So, I think I want this pointed out this way. Maybe. And then this one facing... Okay, why are you doing that? I think that might more evenly distribute the weights and everything. Now we'll turn that back on. Or not. Come on, snap to it. Why is it not snapping? See, this is what annoys me about this game, is sometimes it's like things work, and then other times it's like it just doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. Like, snap to this one turbine thing here. It keeps wanting to grab these things instead of doing that. Which is kind of annoying me. More than I'd care to admit. Come on, just grab it. I don't understand. I really don't. Like, I don't get why it works sometimes and then doesn't work the rest of the time. Okay, come on, guys. Seriously? This is so aggravating. It's seriously going to make me do each one of these? Alright, I'm going to pause it and figure out what the heck is going on. Alrighty, so this is the Mark IV. <laughs> uh, basically what I did was I finally got those things turned around so that hopefully they're all facing inward and we'll redistribute the angle a bit better. Um, other than that, I kind of went with a simple is probably the better approach. Took the rocket boosters off, only used one set of uh, stability struts, all that kind of stuff. Um, I did put the... Um, Strut connector. Oh, geez. So, that's not good. It's all... Alright. So, first stage is these, then the bottom thrusters, so on and so forth. We have... I can't tell... I think his name is Corny. And he is the dumbest astronaut that I have. <laughs> so, let's see how this horribly goes wrong. Nope, there it goes. Why does it do this? I don't understand. Can I do a flip? No. I don't... I don't get it. I really don't understand... why it always decides to flip forward. That makes no sense to me. I really don't get it. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that really doesn't, uh, really doesn't add up for me. So I'm going to take one more crack at a different design, and then I think we're going to call it quits for this episode. Okay, so this is my next attempt. <laughs> I should have called it Hockum's Razor, but I went with Torpedo Mark 1. It's basically, I think, what is it, five, it's like a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4... Oh, I only did four. Oh well. Four thruster. One, two, three, four thruster. One, two, three thruster. And then two and one. Right? Screw it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? It does a nosedive and, and destroys itself. Oh well. So let's see how this, how this goes. I'm gonna laugh if this actually goes really well. Um. And somehow Jebediah got back in the ship again. See, I don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. We're going for it. Whatever. I don't know why it's all wobbly. 
Probably just because it's too... Uh, okay, not enough thrust for one ship. And now it's going to tip over. Yeah, I don't know. So one of these days, I'm going to actually get one off of the ground. <laughs> so I guess, since all of my ships are failing, I think we're going to end the episode on that note. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace.